So you know how cats in The Sims can dig around in bushes to find things like feathers or other collectibles? Well, I'm kind of curious to see if that's a feasible way to make money in this game. I have tested this before with dogs, and it's pretty ineffective because most of the time the dog brings you back toys that are only worth about five simoleons, and five simoleons is not gonna get you very far. You can't even make dinner with that amount of money, let alone build an entire house. But the feathers that cats can find tend to be more expensive they range from like 70 to 150 simoleons. So here's the plan. We've got our weenie sim, Stanley Humphrey. He's a friend of the animal, so hopefully you'll have an easy time befriending them. He's a cat lover, he loves the outdoors, and also he has the dance machine trait because this lets you take disco naps. With that, you can use naps to fix your energy need a lot faster. And I just anticipate that Stanley will probably not have a bed for a while, so I think that's gonna come in handy. And then we have four cats. This one's name is Greg. Grumpy. We've got Lemon. <laughs> We've got Alan, who is a raccoon. And then we also have Little Bubbles. <laughs> I just randomized their traits. I randomized the Sims. And we're gonna see if we can make any amount of money with just these four cats. Typically in this challenge, we start off with an empty lot and zero simoleons. But I think that for our purposes, we might want to give ourselves a couple of things to start off with. Specifically, I think that we would really benefit from a couple of food bowls. I also think a cat tree and a litter box are kind of necessities for us. Stanley will be fine, like he doesn't need anything, but I don't want the cats to suffer because of this challenge, so I'll make sure they have enough when we're first getting started. I'll also fill the food bowls because we just can't have them getting taken away, and then I'll set our money back to zero simoleons. We actually start off with some pretty decent relationship levels with them, which is pretty good, and as far as I'm aware, I think that there are some bushes that they can dig around in. We just have to be on the lookout for things like this, because that's what the cats can dig in. I think that's a pile of dead fish, but I think that that's where they can find me collectibles. <laughs> the other main thing is that the cats have to have the prowler trait. So these cats enjoy prowling around the neighborhood. They'll do it autonomously, but with this trait, you can also send them, which makes it a lot easier to get them to do it quickly. What are you doing? Don't just roll around. We need money. <laughs> I'm counting on you people. This one's already out and about. I don't even know what you're doing. Oh my god, and it's already raining. Living in Brindleton Bay is a disaster. The weather is so bad all the time. I might come introduce myself to this guy just because otherwise we're doomed. We got something, it's a limestone, and I got it myself. So I feel like it shouldn't even count. Oh my god, and this one got sprayed by a skunk. Are you kidding? Oh my god. I don't think any of them have found me anything. And I'm serious about that. This one's digging around in here. I got another limestone. <laughs> Look at this, it's fish, that's disgusting. They're both disgusting, in fact. Listen, I've been sending them all prowling. They've yet to bring me anything. It's only been a couple of hours. I, I think I'm overreacting, but- Oh, oh, we got something. Oh, here we go, open it, open it. Three feathers. That one's worth 30, that one's worth 40, and that one's worth 90. Okay, okay, now we're on to something. If we could get like 100 simoleons per feather pile they bring us, I'll be happy. Oh, look at this. And there's a gift right here. That's rubber duck. That's worth 90. The raccoon is just sitting here. What do you think you're doing? Get to work. <laughs> Get out there. Find me something. These two are just rolling around in the mud, which is completely unhelpful. Alan has defeated a wild squirrel in paw to paw combat. Here's another cat. It's a stray. Gacy is its name. I'll talk to you. Or I won't. Stanley just stood there when I tried to click on it, so never mind, I guess. Well, unfortunately for the cats, I'm making my own way around here, it looks like. We also don't have a place for Stanley to use the bathroom, because there is a pea bush out here, but he can't use it. It's like just an exploring bush. We'd probably benefit from having a bush of our own on the lot, because then the cats could use that one too. Requires pet training skill level three. Are you kidding? Can you even train cats? Ew, look at them. I might want to brush this one. <laughs> You're kind of disgusting. Yeah, he's getting hungry, and we currently have nothing to eat. This cat's name is just Cat. <gasps> Can I befriend it? Please, no. No, he won't. Oh wait, you are, never mind, sorry. I wanna try and get to know it while we do this, cause maybe I could adopt another cat, who knows. It does like me. It's going pretty well. <gasps> adopt. Oh, and the cat brought me something. Look, are you gonna adopt the cat or not? What do you think you're doing? I think the cat said no. Is that why? Oh my god. Well, I have two of these now. Two more presents. See, it's just a ball. What are you gonna do with that? Five simoleons? Weak. That's a crystal. That's 24. Okay. Well, Stanley's hungry now and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think somebody grilled something. Oh no. I saw him running over here to get a hamburger and it was just a dirty plate. He was throwing away a dirty plate. Wait. <gasps> Can I steal that fish taco? Stanley, 
quick. How did that work? I didn't pay for that. I just walked up and took it. <laughs> oh, well that actually worked out pretty well. Well, I'll have him start taking some disco naps now because it is 10 p.m. Do you see how fast his energy gets up with a disco nap? <laughs> it's like too easy. I probably should have had him shower in the rain. I don't know if it's gonna rain tomorrow. Oh, it is. Okay. It's gonna storm tomorrow. I'll admit that I do find that alarming because <laughs> we're just gonna be standing outside in the store. I think the cat keeps waking me up. <sighs> oh, here we go. It's raining now. Shower in the rain. There's just something really uncomfortable about this, isn't there? And he's glitched, she's just standing there. Stanley! Stanley, this is uncomfortable for everybody. Please stop. Oh, I'll reset him so he stops. Disco nap, disco nap. No, he's still making- <laughs> Stanley, you actually can't do this. <laughs> oh my God. It's three in the morning. All of our needs are fixed. Disco napping is really the way. It makes it so much easier. <gasps> we got a present, we got a present, we got a present. Clam it up. Okay, five simoleon toy worthless. It's probably about time, and this this is maybe a bad idea, because this is like all our money, but I'm wondering about trying to get this. We'll get a money trash can, because then if he puts stuff in there, I mean, he only got 10 back because he did it, but if we start putting stuff in there, we'll get like 50 bucks per plate. So I feel like it'll pay for itself eventually, because we have so many sims in our household. It is absolutely pouring down rain. <laughs> I'm gonna take some photos of the cats real quick, because that's like one of the only ways that we can make money, I think. That counts. Selling Simstagram photos counts, right? The cats can't get struck by lightning. Can they? I'm pretty sure only Sims can, only humans. So we should be okay. Except Stanley is still running around naked and he keeps trying to go back inside, but I'm like not letting him. We've officially made more money from collectibles than I have from the cats. I mean, this is not going very well. Oh, nuzzle nip makes your cat friskier than usual. Oh dear, okay. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. I finally got bird feathers. What do we got? It's worth 145. That's something. We could probably get food now. The cheapest fridge is only 215, so we can buy that. I'll clean the litter box and then I'll get us a quick meal. You gotta change. I keep expecting him to change on his own and he's not doing it. I'm really sorry that you've had to witness this. Like this is just messed up. I can sell that for 50 simoleons. I got earbuds. Yeah, the feathers, they don't work very well, do they? It's like so ineffective. <laughs> Where's the raccoon? Are you out there just prowling around? What about you? Maybe I can try and work on building friendship with these cats because the closer we are to them, oh, more feathers. What do we got? 150. Okay, and there's a present over here. That's pretty good too. Oh, we got feathers. Oh, they're doing a lot better now. Everybody's actually helping us for once. That ducky is worth 90 simoleons. That I will not complain about. And these feathers are worth 150 again. I wonder how we're doing with the collection because we have eight out of 12 of them already. I mean, I didn't keep any of them, but <laughs> we've gotten a bunch of the feathers pretty easily. Ew, the cat just rolled around in its poop. That's disgusting. Can you shower in this rain? Oh, you could. Oh my God, he's showering in the rain again. Oh look, one of the cats is sick. That that's why I wanted the money trash can because when they give you these like hair balls, we can sell them. Yikes, Lemon has been bitten by a squirrel. Oh my God. That means they might get sick. If we have to go buy vet treats, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. They're like 50 simoleons each. All right, everybody's off. They're on the prowl. We have a thousand simoleons. So I think this might be a good time for me to try to extend the house a little bit. I've got kind of like all the cat stuff over here. In my mind, the kitchen is like right here. I might get us a real toilet. I'm also kind kind of interested in getting a real countertop. I probably don't really need to, but that way he can cook instead of just having quick meals. He doesn't really need a bed because the disco naps are pretty effective. So maybe I'll start buying walls. That's nice. Okay, the cat's on the counter immediately. <laughs> I think I need to brush this one because it's very disgusting. <laughs> you look horrible. It seems like the stinky smell kind of tends to go away on its own with these cats, but I feel like trying to brush them won't hurt, especially because I'm trying to build relationship with them. I think the closer we are to them, the more likely they are to give me good stuff. And maybe I'm just making that up, but it it sounds like it would make sense if that was true. Okay, well, I'm standing in the thunderstorm trying to brush them. I don't think that's very smart of you, Stanley. I'm not gonna lie. How long does it take to brush them? Is it like nonstop? Just give up. Oh, everything's a mess. Everything's a mess. Well, the cats are all on the fridge as well. I got you this cat tree and you don't care. Oh my God. I don't know if I can handle this storm. <laughs> it's a little overwhelming to me. Why is everybody on? Everybody is over here. Ew, look what he made. It's disgusting smelling. I guess because the cats had their stinky muddy feet in there. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That scared me. I can sell that at least. 155. Do you think if Stanley disco naps in this, he'll die? I'm being so serious when I ask that question. Like, I, I mean that. I don't know. It's possible that it could get struck, but he might be okay. This is one of the scariest things I've ever had my sims do. This is like something out of a horror film. What happened? Ah! Oh my god, it got struck! Wait, 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 wait. That's what they look like inside. 
side of the bush. My bush got struck and Stanley is still in it. He's still asleep. So I think I'll just let him continue to sleep in there. Oh, he woke up. Okay, well now we have no bush and I have no bed. So, wow, that honestly was really quite something. I have never seen that before. I think I'm gonna buy this bed. It's only 300 simoleons. It looks pretty cute and it's pretty good. Energy four, stress relief one, discomfort relief one. I guess we can't sleep in the bush anymore. <laughs> that was short lived. <sighs> Vlad is complimenting my neck. All right, I think the storm has mostly calmed down, thankfully. I might start sending some of the cats out prowling. At least the one that's awake can go out, right? You're awake too. Hey, you know what? Yes, we almost got struck by lightning like three times, but at least we don't have to buy a shower. So when you think about it, it's actually not all bad. Oh, I got this. Thank you. Plam it up. See, that's what I mean by five simoleons. It's basically worthless. At that point, you may as well just not bring me anything. Like, what am I supposed to do with five simoleons? I think I'm realizing that anecdotally, I felt as though it was more common to get feathers from your pets because oftentimes I'll just be playing on this lot and there'll be like a million feather piles out here. So in my mind, it just happened nonstop. But I think in reality, that's because I, I play without checking for days and days and days. <laughs> so they pile up, but now that I'm I'm trying to get them every day. It feels very slow. I'm literally making more money from cleaning the litter box than I am from the pets actually giving me stuff. Okay, he didn't actually finish sleeping, so I'll let him do that now. Everybody's here. One of them's under the bed, which I can't blame them. I kind of feel like hiding too, because the storm is so scary. I think this is Stanley's first actually decent meal. So I'm proud of him for getting to have that one for once. And this is the litter. So <laughs> we got some good money from that too. Oh my God, the storm is finally stopping. Thank you, game. I don't know if I can handle that anymore. So <laughs> I really appreciate it. I don't think we've had a single sunny day like this entire time. Oh, here we go. Hairball. That's good money. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to say. Oh my God. The cats are in heat. I totally forgot about that. Like completely did not even cross my mind as being an aspect of this challenge. I have done a video before where we tried animal breeding, which by the way, I do not condone in real life. However, I had to test it out in The Sims, okay? And I learned that it really was not very effective. I think that's intentional on The Sims team's part. Like it's not really a good way to make money. It's more like if you wanted your pets to have babies, then you could have some, but it takes days and days and days and they're worth like a hundred simoleons. So it's just not really something that you would do to get rich. Oh, are you kidding me? What do you want? This whole time I've been trying to get my cats to hunt, but it looks like Stanley's about to be hunted by a vampire. Don't talk to my cats, Vlad. You scare people. Well, I guess I'll talk to him. I might as well. While he does that, maybe I'll buy a shower because the rain did finally stop and we're getting stinky again. So maybe I'll get one of those. And then I could probably start to buy a couple extra walls if I really want them. I don't want to overspend. <laughs> Are they fighting? I can't have that. Be nice to your siblings. I'm stressed enough as it is. Oh, is he embarrassed from using open showers around others? Uh, yeah, fair enough. I guess your shower is just like right there. <laughs> There's no front wall. Why did I buy the, the back wall instead of the front wall? Yet again, making all my money from cat litter and not from anyone actually bringing me anything. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get to know this one a little bit more. Stanley became good friends with Grumpy. Well, I sure hope so. Will you find me something better now that we're good friends? <laughs> oh, speaking of which, we've got something. What's it gonna be? Open, open, open. Oh! 115! That actually was something good. This lazy cat is asleep on the bench. What do you think you're doing? No, I think that this bush was how we were getting all of our feathers and there's no bush because it got struck by lightning. You're kidding. Maybe if I buy a couple of them myself, because I could probably line up a few of these. They all just hang around the weird pile of dead fish. It's kind of nasty. Well, I told them to explore and they're doing it now. It says they defeated a squirrel, but I don't think they got me anything good. This is impossible. <laughs> I don't know how to wrangle the cats. I don't know how to make them do stuff. It's so funny because I compare it to like The Sims 3, which was so different with the pet training. In The Sims 3, the cats could find you like birds and lizards and little creatures and they would literally get them in their inventory and you could like take them and adopt them as pets or sell them. It's kind of gruesome to be honest, but the cats would have all these like small animals in their inventory and the dogs could go sniff out gemstones. So you could make like tens of thousands of simoleons from having the dogs and cats go hunting in The Sims 3. But then you come to The Sims 4 and you just can't do it. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so slow and it's randomized, right? So you get random stuff, but a lot of the stuff they can randomize is worth like five, 10, 20 simoleons and mostly five simoleons. <laughs> and you can't do anything with that. Look at them. They all came back empty handed. Oh, and you just sleep on the cat tree. I still cannot afford 
front walls. <laughs> this is one of the worst ones that we've done in ages. I don't even think that having more cats would help. Like normally I'd say, oh, let's try and adopt some more. But honestly, I don't think it'd make a difference. Oh, here we go. One of them's pooping. That I can work with. <laughs> we can use that. That's 50 bucks right there. Thank you very much. Oh, look, 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 look. Finally something good. We got feathers. Thank you. Oh, 260. <gasps> Those are good ones. We've got 9 out of 12 now, so we're almost done with the collection. I'm having a couple more of them explore these bushes. Oh no! Lemon sick! Oh god. Oh, this is very bad. Okay, I can fix that. I can fix that. Hold on. We gotta go to the vet real quick. It's only next door, but we have to get some of the vet treats so we can fix them. Okay, from this pet vending machine, I think I'll buy four wellness treats. We can have one for each of them, which should be enough. That's a little pro tip. You don't actually have to take them to the vet. If you do, it costs more money. It's like a couple hundred simoleons. They get a cone and stuff. It's kind of a fun feature, but if you're trying to save time and or money in this game, you don't actually have to take them in. You can literally just give a wellness tree and then it fixes the whole problem. They'll be fine immediately. Is that the sound of the raccoon attacking something? Oh, I did not like that at all. Well, that litter box just paid for one wellness tree. <laughs> I'm becoming a companion with the raccoon. It says be companions with one cat or dog and then I picked the raccoon. Oh, oh, we got a present. We got a present. Five simoleons. It's rough out here. It's real rough out here. I have extremely high friendship with all of these cats now. I've been basically non-stop talking to all of them. I don't know if it actually makes a difference, but like, look at that. We're best friends. So why won't you help me pay for the house? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. More feathers. None of those feathers were new, but they were expensive. Oh no, my raccoon is sick. Hold on, <laughs> let me fix you. I got stuff for that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come back, where did he go? I'm trying to help you. You're like running halfway across the world. Well, Stanley got a present at least. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, interesting. It's an element. <gasps> Look, sorry, the raccoon has to wait. <laughs> I got this stuff too. 165. And we got 10 out of 12 feathers now. Oh, here's a present. I'll get that one too. Sometimes you gotta just look around the world in case anybody left you anything good. <laughs> it's nothing good. It's it's a five simoleon toy. Another one. What's that gonna be? A crystal. Oh, it's worth 24. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I keep getting excited and it's worth nothing. I got feathers. 150. Honestly, they're giving me feathers at a much higher rate right now, which is pretty good. Also, one of them is sick. Here, I can help you. Look at you just like fallen asleep, stinky, head spinning, fleas. We've pretty quickly gotten a lot more money. So I maybe have enough to buy extra walls. I'd love to use the cats and dogs doors. They're just kind of expensive. Like this one is 250. This is gonna be Stanley Humphrey's blue suburban era, I think. It just feels right for him with this particular house in Brindleton Bay of all places. Look at that, so cute. See, Stanley, you've got a whole house and everything. Well, not really, wait. I'd like to have some flooring. I don't know if he can have flooring and wallpaper. There's floors. There's walls. Oh, good. Okay. Look, it's like a whole house. Oh, wait. This is not gonna work. <laughs> I got more feathers. Still nothing new? Oh, I give up. I don't care about the collection. I've not been keeping them. It doesn't matter. All I care about is money. <laughs> and we do have a house. We do technically have a house. It's not a good house, but it's a house. And that's all that matters, right? As long as he's got, you know, all the necessity. <laughs> Which he, he barely does, but he does technically. Oh my god, this one's sick again. Oh! <gasps> Is that Kayla? <gasps> what are you doing in my house? I want an autograph from famous Kayla, please. It's so nice to meet you. I'm a huge fan. A huge fan. I want to get that appraised. It's worth 20 bucks. Hang that up. Oh, never mind. You can't. Okay, put it on the table. <laughs> Did she leave? She came to my house, gave me her autograph, and then left. Look, I don't want to make any assumptions, but I think if I were to sign an autograph, it would be worth a lot less than 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 cents, maybe? Oh, look, 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 there's two piles. Oh, I've reached like rock bottom. Why am I getting so excited about these tiny little things? That's how you know it's bad. Throw away, don't press that. Stop, stop, stop. Open. Yeah, also nothing. All right, well, we made some money. Not good money some money. And I, it was an interesting experiment. I'll say that much, okay? <laughs> was it good? No. Was it bad? No. This was a solidly fine attempt at making money. If I were you, I would probably not pursue this. <laughs> If you had to pick one thing to do to earn money in The Sims, honestly, the money trash can is more effective. Like this is not a solid way to go about this. However, it is fun to play with cats. I just wouldn't count on them to like help out around the house. And I could have told you that. I got three cats in this house.